don't we? Because what an extraordinary game. It is the Rugby World Cup here. I want to ask you, All Black Captain Richie McCaw, final game, Eden Park. Would he make Captain Delahunty a good Prime Minister? <laughs> I, don't think he, I don't think he's interested. I want, if you're going to have an All Black, Perry Weepu. Now, he's been great on the TPPA. Right. But what we need right. is a woman. It's time for another woman. I'm actually over this thing. It's time for another woman. A woman All Black captain. Well, whatever. A woman All Black, a woman Silver Firm, a woman who's interested in politics. But Richie McCaw, though. Equal pay. Richie McCaw, the greatest ever All Black. I mean, could you see him, uh, you know, has, be, has been part of the Green Party, perhaps? Well, what? he's welcome to join like everyone else. All right, but yeah. talking about a swap here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we don't guarantee a position on All the right, list. All right, then, what about you? Would you James welcome Shaw. Richie McCaw? Look, I think Richie would be... I mean, the guy sits basically at the left hand of God at the moment in, in the eyes of most of the New Zealand public. Why this guy would want to come into a profession that's ranked... ranked 20, yeah, 78th in the world after used car salesmen, prostitutes and whatever, whatever. Don't do it, Richie. Go and do, so go and do something <laughs> worthwhile right, with your right. life. Someone tweet that. <laughs> David Shearer's advice to Richie McCall tonight at Back of the TV. Scott, what about you? I mean, well, is, well, is, 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 is John Key and Richie just that tight? They're great mates. There's no doubt about that. Great mates. But would Richie make a great <laughs> Prime Minister? Oh, I think, actually, Richie's actually just said um, this afternoon, I had a look uh, on one of the um, uh, internet sites this afternoon, and Richie apparently has said he's not interested. Not interested. He but prefers. He, he's interested he in politics, around. but he doesn't he want to play. So you know what? I've just had an epiphany. I've just had a realization. All of a sudden, Haley Holt for prime minister. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Not sure about that. No, no. Hang on. Hang on, Haley. Haley, have you got your cell phone here? No. Because you have a direct line to Richie, would you not? Give him a ring. He doesn't always answer my call, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've got a guest. I do have a guest. I'm here with Abby, student and aspiring journalist. You don't actually care about Richard McCall being Prime Minister because someone suggested he actually be on our flag. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, I don't think rug <laughs> rugby isn't the be-all and end-all like, of New Zealand culture. Yeah. And <laughs> what? <laughs> well, why don't we have Lord and Peter Jackson on there as well? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we should have our heroes on the flag if, if we're going to have anyone on the fl on the flag. It will, it, it, yeah. Well, this Do you have any other heroes that you might add to the flag? Uh, a hero to me is someone that puts the needs of others before themselves and becomes the change they wish to see in the world. So, uh, the, there was one prefect at my school, Cordia Hickey, and she always encouraged the younger students to try their best and always help them at NCA. And she became became a really influential person like at our school and um, yeah I, I just think that if if New Zealand's going to be putting people on the flags and it should be the it should be the people in the communities and the classrooms and people trying to make a small difference in the in the environment if we need a bigger flag do you see anybody <laughs> like that in politics at the moment uh, not in politics but the yes Catherine. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> thank you enough <laughs> just don't worry about that keep keep going keep going <laughs> Uh, so you said no. Uh, well, Catherine's over there. She obviously walks the talk. Yeah, no, I'm anyway, not, anyway, we can, we, can, we can move on, eh? I do a lot of talking. I don't know about the walking. A lot of flag waving. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, very thank good. You. Thank Thanks you, Haley, very good. What about you then? If there, I mean, let's pick up on that. A, a community driven person, a person of, you know, not of fame like Richie McCall, or Peter Jackson, but someone that you would put on a flag. Who would it be? I would, look, I, to be honest with you, I, I wouldn't put obviously anybody on the flag. I actually think that what we've seen at the moment, and, and I, look, I totally agree with what Abby's saying. Abby was saying. Yeah, I mean, I cool. actually think that the people that really count are the people you, who are actually out there trying to make a difference, something bigger than themselves. So right. I, I really applaud Scott, them. Scott, and I know that you know, you'd put the right Honourable John Key on the flag if you had a no. chance. He would. No, I wouldn't. You John Key. Because I'm with David. I don't think you put people on flags. On, you don't put, you don't, that's not the right place to put it. You honour your nation's heroes in other ways. I'm trying to think you know. about that. All right, like? Well, for instance, we have um, Ed Hillary on our uh, currency. We have, we have other famous New Zealanders on oh, our no, currency. No, John Those Key and a hundred dollar bill. No, is that where, where he's John going? Key. I can see where this is going. I'm not, no, I'm not suggesting Listen, that at all. But maybe what I'm a thousand saying dollar bill with John Key on the front of it. We appropriately acknowledge our national heroes in other ways than putting their face on a flag. Richie McCaw on a bill, a five dollar bill, ten dollar bill. Not for me. All right, Catherine Delahunty, pick up on what Abby said about ins inspiring in the community. Well, absolutely. There's many, many people, but the flag is a vanity project of the Prime Minister to distract us from the real issues. So, really, it's a non-issue. Who goes on it? 
What if Richie McCaw just suddenly started tweeting about the environment? Well, I'd be, I'd be happy to um, share tweets with Richie and anyone else <laughs> who's interested in the environment. All right. It's a step forward from some of the talk we've heard earlier. Hayley, that is, is, the he, problem. is he interested in the, in the environment? Uh, well, I mean, he's a farmer. You know, he's a Southern farmer, so there's a possibility he's interested in the environment. Possibly, yeah. You know, hopefully, maybe he's going to invest in eco-technology. Who knows? What does the do what person next to you think about the issue? Do you think it's ridiculous, don't you, about the flag? Uh, I do. I, I think there's a lot of constitutional issues we have to work through in New Zealand. Um, I believe in honouring totality. Um, and we've got to work through that before we even start thinking about yes. a constitution and start thinking about a new flag. I think it's totally ridiculous, a total waste of money. And like Catherine said, it's, it's a distraction from real issues that are... Uh, so it's a change without any actual real change. Very good. Hayley, thank you very much. Uh, a change without any actual change. Stay with us. The quiz is next.